It's me, your girl, lovely angel lady, coming to tell y'all a little bit about this Get Fine for the Summertime Challenge 2014 that I am having. So, y'all know, maybe if you were following me, let's see, um, I haven't even had my channel for a year an entire year but if you were following me last year uh, spring summer you know maybe I was a pretty you know good size pretty decent size um, I have some health challenges and um, pretty much ended up having to go on steroids I had to take prednisone and that's when you see the chipmunk cheeks come in they're a lot better now than what they were they were like really, really poofy, just crazy, crazy cheeks, and um, like it puts weight in your tummy area, and then like on your back, it's just weird places, um, but anyhow, at first I was doing pretty good, and I was like, oh, I think I beat it, and like a month after I said that, I mean, I packed on my 20 pounds so fast, you try to eat healthy, and you try to do this, but prednisone will have you feel like you starving. And that's not, not normally me. Like, I like to cook. I could, usually, the type of person I am, I could cook and I didn't really eat much of it because I'm into cooking for other people. And so, um, you know, it's especially like cultural type foods, you know. Um, it's just like, it just makes me happy and proud and things like that to be able to prepare some of the things that my grandmother prepared. So, with that being said, I don't feel like, you know, I have to stuff my face or anything like that. Um, but I have had to lose weight from having children. I um, have, have basically given birth to three children. And um, that, when you are only four foot 11 and the child has nowhere else to go, but your body goes boop, outward because, you know, the baby can't go this way. So everything's gonna go outward. And then uh, on top of that, I did eat like a cow when I was pregnant. Um, I know the last pregnancy I did. And uh, he is now four, and oh, I almost had it though, almost had it. Last time, I um, I did a diet, um, you know, eating, I can't completely cut out my carbs because of my health, and so I have to communicate with my physicians and communicate with the physical therapists and all these different people that I have on my medical team to make sure that everything goes smoothly and that I'm doing things the safe way. And I advise you to do the same. You can join me in this challenge, y'all, but I do want y'all to, um, I don't want you to do anything that, you know, um, you need to be consulting with your uh, physicians, you know, consult with your doctors about um, things that you need to, because I don't want anyone getting hurt or anything like that. Your health is very important, okay? So, um, for me, um, my mother is also a personal trainer and a wellness coach, so like I have different, you know, people in my corner on my team um, helping me out here. Um, I've done this before. Um, I used the Body Garment by um, Artists International, and it was uh, what was the name of the body garment I had? I cannot remember. Body Magic. I had the Body Magic by Artists. Okay. And that was after I had my last baby. I used that one. And man, when I tell you I wore it like four times a day, it was a little annoying because, you know, trying to get into that thing and then trying to go to the bathroom. And oh my goodness, it was like a nightmare. But I, I stuck with it. And what my mom told me to do was not to necessarily cut out all carbs or cut out this or do a high fat milk carb or, you know. It was basically cook your meals and eat like you normally would. However, try, you know, of course, to do your, your um, baked fish and your baked chicken and things like that. However, that would mean deprive myself of this and deprive myself of that. You know, unless all I was eating was junk food, which wasn't the case. And because she knew how I ate. And so what I did was I would eat like smaller meals. And like for breakfast, I would do um, smoothies, you know, full of you know, uh, d different, um, like, uh, vegetables. I would mix, like, vegetables and fruit and then have a smoothie for breakfast and then, um, I would have, like, tuna 
and like whole wheat crackers or something like that and then I, I just ate like six small meals a day and that worked really good and when I tell you I lost like 30 pounds within like two to three months um, and she always advises you know two to three pounds a week is actually too much she really shouldn't even be losing that much but um, hey I wasn't complaining my health wasn't too at risk you know I made it and I was looking good and I was feeling good I was feeling a lot better without all that weight walking around with all that weight on me especially being four foot eleven I'm not, not you know I feel more comfortable being I used to be a three then I actually got back down to that after my first child and then after having the second pregnancy I think I was about a seven and then after the third when I tell you I was 180 pounds 81 pounds leaving from having the baby 181 pounds at 4 foot 11 I was a whale a whale y'all so losing that you know 30 pounds after you know um, having him was really big for me and I know I can do it I've done it before and I did really good then I did more um, a manual treadmill was all I had at the time and I had a little, um, I had bought a um, exercise bike, like one of the little low ones, little stamina type um, ones, and it was like $140 at Walmart, and that really worked because I was faithful to get on it. I was able to look at TV and watch something interesting while I was on the bike. It's a little harder now because um, everything's in my workout room, and I have a little, um, my, my treadmill is electric now. It's not highly expensive, it's not like in climbing, which I try not to do too often because that can be bad on your knees, so make sure you have the right equipment. But it's easier for me not having to go into a gym, um, because some mornings I get up and I'm like, I don't even know how to get out of the bed, like seriously. That's how it can get when you're dealing with myasthenia gravis and anti neuropathy. So, uh, like I said, you know, make sure you talk to your doctor and everything like that. But if you don't have any health issues and you just hop on board with the sister, you still have to do what works for you. You know, you can kind of tweak things to make them work for you. Because you know your bodies uh, better than I do. And I know my body and what works for me. And so, um, what I'm going to do is, um, what I plan on doing is not cutting out everything out of my diet. Um, a lot of times I do no sugar. And I'll just do like sweet and low or um, stevia. Stevia is really better for you, but I hate the taste of it. And um, I drink, I try to drink lots of water, like at least four of those, uh, what is it, like 16 ounce bottles of water or something like that? 17 ounce, I'm not sure. I think they vary, but um, I drink like four of those bottles of water a day. And then um, I'm going, this time I'm going to keep a little bit of juice in like I did last time because when I take my medicine, um, I have to take my medicine three to four times a day, I believe, and when I take that, I want to be able to, um, you know, have juice because some of it, if it melts in your mouth, and you just got water in your mouth. All is bad for me. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. That's not going to work for LA. So, what I am going to do is do my, my fish and my chicken and my shrimp and those things that you know that I would have but I don't think I'm going to completely limit myself to all white meat there will be a majority of what I have because I'm not a huge meat fan in the first place like you're not gonna see me eating a whole bunch of beef and things like that um I am taking like iron pills and stuff like that because I am anemic and so um I do have to have like fiber in my diet I can't just cut you know cold turkey things out of my diet I um just had a sandwich for lunch today which is crazy because I don't you know I had to force myself to eat that I don't even have an appetite but I used the uh, whole wheat bread but it was gluten free and um, I'm not like overdoing it on the breads and overdoing it on the pastas like I made spaghetti um, well what would have been spaghetti but I used basically spaghetti squash and I actually made a meat sauce um, last night and I plan on eating that for dinner for the next couple days I'm doing pretty good with that so that's what I'm going to be eating. I plan on, um, you know, keeping it like that with the diet. Um, doing the smaller meals and like a little bit of like the snacks, like, you know, a little bit of um, tuna and like eating my vegetables. Um, especially since I've been anemic, I'm really crazy about green vegetables, but 
I've been loving me some carrots lately. Just raw carrots. So I just snack on stuff like that. Apples. Apples. Just, you know, if I get hungry. But I haven't really been having so much of a problem with that lately. So, anyway. Um, once I went on the steroids, like I was saying, it kind of packed on the rolls. Like in those areas. Like you might see, yeah, yeah, I'm capable of having a small waistline. You can see like the curve of my waist and things like that. So I just want to bring that back. Tighten up. You know, um, just I can pretty much do light exercise and I can't overdo it. I often do not have enough muscle strength to be doing all that stuff. You know, on a given day, I just have to play it by ear. If it's a day that I can, I got me a bike now. I can ride my bike with the boys, with my little guys. And, um, you know, we ride our bikes around the neighborhood. That's excellent exercise. And if it's a day that I can't quite do that, sometimes I'm really good at being able to get on my exercise bike upstairs so you know I can go get on that bike and I do pretty good on that but if I'm just totally weak and just sick and my immune system is on bike for me not so much I'm not gonna be <laughs> trying to do all the strenuous exercising but I plan on wearing my um my corset and I have worn a corset before in the past and I was successful with it um I've worn waist centers ever since um pretty much I had my last baby because it left on a lot of the, you know, in the tummy. Um, so, you know, I, I know what to wear and pretty much what not to, what, you know, is good and what's not going to help. You know, it's like all these scary things that people um, going through and experiencing and hearing about that, how people's ribs and stuff came in and this and that and other. All I advise you to do is do your research. Don't let anyone think or speak for you. You have to do what works for you and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what works for me at the end day because this is my body I've done it before my ribs are just fine I have to have regular um, x-rays and blood tests and everything else to make sure my health is in line and you know to be able to um, decide on the best treatment for me so you know my, my doctors will advise if I need to do anything differently but for now this is gonna be the plan it hasn't failed me yet and what I basically want to do is use my corset to um, as I lose weight that I keep my hour for less, my hour less shape that I already have. I'm not trying to get one that I never had because if it ain't in you, sometimes it just ain't in you. I'm not saying you can't ever get that way, but I'm not forcing, um, you know, my body to do something that is not already capable of doing it. I know it's the shape I pretty much had all my life, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, y'all. Trying to get sexy and fun. You can have your health challenges have whatever other challenges you got going on but when you are healthy both you know um as far as your physique on the outside you know it and then that you're healthy that you know your body is healthy overall is most important and it makes you feel good and that's a confidence boost and that's really good and it's also good for your body and for your well-being you know your physical well-being your mental well-being it all ties in together so i plan on get myself together and so I can you know I feel good now I'm always happy with myself however I know that this is not me this was me last summer and uh, it's not gonna be me I refuse to <laughs> live my life looking like this you know I'm young uh-uh ain't nobody trying to have all that so I am going to be doing I'm gonna try to work out um, at least three days a week however I plan to try to do my squats at least five days a week because I got a booty, and I'm not trying to lose all of it, and I want it to be, you know, lifted and stuff, and looking right, you know, I gotta keep it together, so, that's what I plan on doing, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm looking like, and I did go ahead and take some pictures, that way that we can compare them, you know, as the weeks go on, I don't know if I'm gonna lose a pound from week to week, or if I'm gonna stay still, or whatever, but, um, we'll see, but I'll still be giving you an update if I'm doing anything different, if I did a workout that day and so forth. I'm going to come to you at least once a week um, with an update on my Get Fine for the Summertime Challenge. If you have something that you'd like to um, add to it, you know, you can always run it by me and I can see if it's something that I can do, something that you're suggesting. Another thing that worked well for me was um, wrapping, like with the saran wrap. A lot of people say, oh, it just helps you lose the water weight, yada, 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 yada. Whatever it did, it helped my tummy. Uh, before I got on the prednisone, it was helping it tremendously. And I did not take pictures. I wish I had pictures to show you. I did the It Works um, Body Wrap 
much, but what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm thinking about getting this other kind of um, gel, and then they have some, some other type of stuff that you can use, like this, some type of makeup remover or something like that that um, people are using. Al, Al, something, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't think Al, I cannot remember what that stuff is called. But, um, I don't I cannot remember. I'll have to let y'all know when I uh, do my next video. But some people do that. They put that on and they wrap with a saran wrap when they do their workouts. Um, I was fine wrapping before I went to bed. Like, it wasn't required that I did. You know, I was still doing my workout in the day. But I wasn't, like, wrapped up while I did the workout. If I, when I do do that, I use my little, um, it's like a uh, latex, just a little Velcro wrap. They may have to wrap it around twice to get it to fit right because it's one of those gold gems, that little cheap gold gem one that I got from Walmart. And I did see one on Amazon that's for women and so it's smaller. So I'm thinking about investing in that. But these are all things that work for me. They help me like sweat a little more, bit more and stuff like that in the past, which, you know, is good. I'm not sweating like profusely to where I'm losing all my water and stuff like that. And that's why it's important that I take in a lot of water as well. So I'm going to be drinking my water and eating my fruits and vegetables and you know eating smaller meals and you know i'll come and let y'all know what i've been eating and stuff like that just give y'all an update if you have any questions y'all can always feel free to ask me but um i'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all um what i'm looking like i weighed in at 143.6 this morning which who at 4 foot 11 is a lot this is like the heaviest i've been in a long time but like i said i'm loving myself sugar don't get it twisted i'm loving myself Honey, I'm telling you, curves and all, and all that jazz, I'm loving myself, so, don't get me messed up, but anyhow, um, I want, I don't know, I'm not going to say I want to be back at a three, because I don't, um, I'm comfortable with a seven, but that means I would only, honestly, need to drop down one more size to be back at a seven and junior six and misses, and I'm comfortable with that. Um, but I really, really like fours. So I'm just going to see how, you know, with my shape and my weight, how everything ties in together and determine when I want to stop. But I was planning on doing this challenge for like two months and just see where I'm at, where I am, because I usually do pretty well by then. So y'all get fine with me and we're going to be, you know, talking about it in more detail um, as the weeks go on. But this week, I just want to show y'all where I'm at. And I'm just getting started with this thing, so it's all new. But uh, that's okay, because we're going to be fine. Ooh, we're going to be sexy.